Emilia Boni, the fourth of seven siblings, lives in the slum community of Jamestown in Accra. She's dreamed of becoming a customs officer and believes her basketball skills can help her get there. She joined a program called Dunk, developing unity, nurturing knowledge, grassroots. The sports and education program requires students to keep good grades to continue to play sports. Emilia has done so well academically that she has won a scholarship to continue her studies. If you are not doing well, then you have to stop and study, ah, till you get back to where you were. Then you start playing the sports again. Dank Grassroots, the youth-led community-based project, targets at-risk women and children ages 8 to 19 living in low-income communities. It uses basketball as a tool to encourage youth to stay in or come back to school. Once they are committed to the sports, they have cool jerseys, they have a, a team, they go with a bus to go and play a match. They don't want to lose that, right? So you introduce the education by saying, and it's very basic, but it works, you know, saying you have to complete two hours of library before you play basketball. At 4 p.m., everybody's here trying to complete two hours of study before they, they play basketball. A teacher at Accra Wesley Girls High School says, they have seen an increase in the number of girls participating in the program. The school has admitted 20 Dunk students in a four-year period and gone to win regional and national high school basketball competitions during that time. Sports teacher Vaida Yabani says the program also prepares students to find a job after basketball. After your retirement in the game or your um, injury during your time of play and you can't play again where do you go but if you have your education background you'll be able to um, have something on your own with the introduction of the basketball africa league bal in 2019 basketball has seen a surge in popularity at the national level in december the ghana basketball association or gbba drafted its first male and female national teams to compete in the qualifying rounds of the Continental Tournament. VOA is a BAL broadcast partner. We've been linking up with you. We get a calendar and we are trying to work around, around it for our, for our teams to participate in, in BAL. Dank Grassroots officials say they will develop their model to also identify talents that has the potential to compete at the international level. Dank co-founder Tahir and his team hope that with the opportunity to play at a professional level, students will be even more interested in the basketball and the education program. Sena Anutod for VOA News, Jamestown, Ghana.